Hey guys, my name is John Hamilton and today I'm going to be teaching you how to add multiple objects using groups. So let's get into it. Alright, so as you can see we have a group of objects here, well, some objects here, and we want to add them into the game. So we're going to be using a group to add them in. So if we're going to go Control G, making sure we have all the objects selected that we want to be a part of this group. So all of these want I want to be a part, so I select them and you hit Control G. And now they're a group. So if I was to select one of these and come over here to the object data panel. As you can see down here, it's created a new group and it's just named group right now. So if I was to rename this to something like ob oh, ob for object and object and we call this add or something object add right as you can see it's changed all of them because they're in the same group now what we want to do is move these to another layer because we we don't want these on this layer right so just a layer that we're never going to use ever so now that those objects are out of our mind we want to add in a group instant and see instance and as you can see there's ob add here so if we add this in as you can see we have our our empty here called ob add and it's it, here right here it's displaying group so when you press play it just works but we actually want to add this in so what you want to do is move this to another layer where you can't see it because if you want to add something in you cannot it cannot be on the same layer so we're going to come here and we're going to add a empty All right and then we're going to come over here to game logic right so now we're going to come here and we're going to add a keyboard sensor and this is going to be space and we're going to go edit object and then we're going to go oh, and this is going to be add object ob add for object add right um one thing to note is when you do it this way this timer thing doesn't work so don't even try or well, i mean i guess you can but yeah, so if we press space, as you can see it just adds a whole bunch. And if we're going to go into textured mode, and as you can see the light is not working. So, why is the light not working? Well, the way I figured out how to make it work is if you come over to the light settings over here, you just want to grab some object, or add the empty if you like, and you just want to parent it. Um... And the reason for that is, I know what's wrong with it, but it won't add lights in through a group that show up. So if they're parented, they show up. So as you can see, they show up. Uh, you could just parent that to an empty that doesn't fall if you don't want it to fall or whatever. But there you go. You can just keep adding them in and, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And you can just add lots and lots and lots and no nothing's parented except for that lamp because that doesn't really work but that is how you set it up. If you have any questions about this tutorial you can comment them down below and you can also subscribe to get updated every single week when I come out with a new tutorial.